So a few years ago, I did this video talking about the experience of dual booting between Chrome OS and Lubuntu, a lightweight Linux distro on an Asus C302 Chromebook. And in that video, I discussed how one of the main downsides of running Lubuntu on the Asus C302, or really any Linux distro on the Asus C302, was that there were audio issues. With factory or default settings, for example, both the speakers and the headphone jack would not be recognized by the system, meaning I would not get any sound out of it. There were workarounds to these hardware problems, like you could connect a blue, you could connect a pair of Bluetooth earbuds to uh, the C302 when using Lubuntu, and that would take care of the audio problem to, cert to a certain degree. So back then, the audio issue was one of the major downsides of using Lubuntu or any kind of Linux distro on the ASUS C302 Chromebook. Uh, in fact, this wasn't just an ASUS C302 specific issue. If you tried running a Linux distro on any kind of Chromebook that has been released since 2017, I want to say there were a lot of issues with just trying to get audio working in the first place. And for the longest time with the ASUS C302 specifically, the only option was to compile your own kernel just to get uh, the speakers, the headphone jack, as well as the HDMI audio output to function properly. But that was back then, it's been a few years, and the lovely people in the Coltrobook community have been working on a fix for this. Coltrobook, by the way, refers to Chromebooks that have been turned into laptops running Linux or Windows. Bringing us back to topic though, WeirdTreeThing has released a script that makes it very easy to fix audio on Linux distro running Coltrobooks. And today I want to demonstrate how easy it is to run this script to fix the audio issues on my Asus C302 Chromebook. Well, kind of fix them. We'll get to that in a second. The script itself is pretty easy and simple to get running. Start by visiting WeirdTreeThing's Chromebook Linux Audio GitHub page. Link for this is in the description box. Scroll down to the instructions bit and just copy and paste the command in order. Copy the first step that involves the git clone command. Open up a terminal. Paste and run the git clone command. Then go back to the instructions. Copy the second command, cd chromebook-linux-audio. Go to the terminal and paste and run the command. Go back to the instructions and copy and paste the third command into the terminal. At this step, you'll be asked for your password, so go ahead and put it in. Now, what you'll see after this step really depends on which specific Chromebook you're using for this. With some Chromebooks, you'll just see the script quickly do its thing before reporting audio installed successfully. If you're using an Asus C302 Chromebook or a Skylake Chromebook or some other specific set of Chromebooks though, you might see this message pop up. Warning, your device has Max 98357A and can cause permanent damage to your speakers if you set the volume too loud. As a safety precaution, devices with Max 98357A have speakers disabled until a fix is in place. Headphones and HDMI audio are safe from this. Right, and this gets me to my earlier statement of this fixes the audio, kind of. Weird Tree Things script uses ABS drivers to get audio working on the ASUS C302 as well as a variety of other Chromebooks. ABS stands for Audio Voice Speech, and they're drivers from Intel that were essentially created to address issues that had existed in the preceding audio drivers for Skylake, Apollo Lake, Kaby Lake, and Amber Lake devices. ABS drivers identify the speakers in the ASUS C302 as being Max 9. 8357A. The problem with the Max 98357A is that it does not come with a volume limiter. And to put it in basic terms, the volume limiter essentially limits the audio output at a safe level, safe for human ears and for the hardware. And not having the volume limiter in this case means that there is nothing that can stop the audio output coming from the speakers from exceeding what the speakers can handle, essentially leading to the possibility of permanently damaging the speakers in some way or just flat out frying out the speakers. Hence, we get this warning. Now, when running WeirdTree Things script with just the commands found on the instructions page, the script will actually run and fix the issue with the headphone jack as well as the HDMI audio output. It'll just leave the device's speakers disabled for the overall safety of the device. That's essentially the default behavior with the script. But if, despite knowing that there are risks with doing this, you still want to enable the speakers on your ASUS C302, or maybe you have one of these other Chromebooks that happen to have Max 983578 speakers. Uh, you can do it. The script does give you that option. All you have to do is take the third command in the instructions and add dash dash force dash AVS dash install to the end of it. From there, the script will ask you to manually type in, I understand the risk of permanently damaging my speakers in all caps. 
It's essentially a last line of defense that the script has to ensure that the people who don't really understand the risks here aren't accidentally enabling these speakers by accident. And with that, you should be able to have working speakers on the C302 while running Linux on it. According to Weird Tree Thing, the ASUS C302 speakers should be fine as long as the volume is kept at around 40%. Going higher than that and there is a high risk of damaging the speakers. And in my experience, this does seem to be true. By the way, for the demonstration with the script, I used an ASUS C302 running Kubuntu 23.10. Uh, and it's an Ubuntu-based Linux distro. And I, I want to point this out because it's important. Technically, the script by Weird Tree Thing does not support Ubuntu. Uh, there are like seven Linux distros that this script officially supports, and Ubuntu is not one of them. I mean, the script can run in Ubuntu, but there are issues that have apparently cropped up when trying to use the script with Ubuntu. And Weird Tree Thing has been very specific about not supporting Ubuntu. In fact, on the GitHub page, there's a whole section marked Ubuntu, where he essentially says something along the lines of, if you run into issues, you're on your own. In my case with the C302 Chromebook running Kubuntu though, I have not run into any of those issues that other Ubuntu users apparently have run into. All the audio fixes were implemented perfectly if you ask me and you know other than maybe the speakers thing which isn't really specific to the script itself it, it's just been a great experience headphone jack hdmi output it's it's all been great and that is sort of my takeaway from this this is just a really impressive and incredibly helpful script is it perfect no i mean the asus c302 and other chromebooks that have the max 98357a are going to have to continue to deal with the issue of not having any form of volume limiting and then there are a few Chromebooks that don't seem to be supported by the script. And then there are a few Chromebooks where it is supported by the script, but there are still audio issues despite the script somewhat working with the device. So it's not the perfect end all be all script. But the thing is we didn't really have a script of this kind a few years ago. And it was, it certainly wasn't this easy to try to solve these audio issues when trying to use Ubuntu or some other Linux distro on a Chromebook. So I'm just really happy that this script exists in the first place, and I am just super thankful to Weird Tree Thing and all the, all the other people who helped get us to the point where this script was even possible in the first place. And based on some of the confused, misplaced, and sometimes quite ignorant comments or, or just questioning that I've seen this script get from people in various forums and whatnot, I'm sure that maintaining a script of this kind is not easy, and I, and I just have nothing but love and respect for um, Weird Tree Thing, because this thing is really cool. Anyways, I thought that was really interesting, so I just wanted to share it out to the world. And if you too thought it was interesting, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like. Thanks for watching.